Proudly covering all of Northeastern and Central Pennsylvania, this is Eyewitness News. Good morning and thank you for joining us. It is Friday, August 13th. I'm Kelly Byrne. We're getting a check of our forecast with Sammy Squires. Another hot day in store for us. Yeah, absolutely. As temperatures head into the 90s, it could feel like over 100 degrees in portions of our area, including Williamsport, Sealands Grove, and the Pottsville area. This heat advisory extends up until 7 p.m. today. So while temperatures are in the lower 90s, it could feel like over 100, even 105 degrees. So partly sunny conditions and very hot today with afternoon scattered showers starting to form. Now, I do think we have some good sunshine in before then. So uh, through the rest of the morning and into the early afternoon. After that, we start to see showers and thunderstorms becoming very scattered through about 3, 4 p.m. towards central Pennsylvania and moving into the northeast around dinner time. Expect to see these showers on and off throughout the evening and finally coming to an end overnight and through early Saturday morning. Back to you, Kelly. All right, Sammy, thanks for the update. A lightning strike may be the cause of a church fire in Susquehanna County. The South Montrose Community Church on Route 29 caught fire around 10 o'clock Thursday night. Crews tell us it started in the steeple of the nearly 100 year old church and may have been the result of a lightning strike. Crews responded to the scene and the church was engulfed in flames. Officials say the building is destroyed, but the stained glass was spared from the blaze. No one was inside the church at the time of the fire and no injuries were reported. State police are looking for a driver who slammed into a Bradford County home. The driver crashed into the home along State Route 514 in Troy Township and then fled the scene. 85 year old Dolores Hartford was sitting in her living room when it happened. A hutch filled with glass baskets fell onto her. She was able to push the hutch over and escape the home with only minor injuries. Anyone with information on this should contact police. If you would like more of our top stories or more details on today's forecast, just be sure to head to our website, pahomepage.com.